I told you, you're not welcome here. You're not welcome anywhere. Now get the out of my bar. Just give me one more drink and then I'll leave. Hi, Peanut. I'm gonna need you to come with me right now. Look, lady, I'm not interested. All right, well, I'm sort of on the tick tick, so upsy daisy. Here we go. Oh, whiskey dick of the claws. It's quite common in Wolverines over 40. You don't want this. Unless you want to take a deep breath through your forehead, I suggest you reconsider. So the first full trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine dropped this week, and well, reactions are sort of mixed. Some fans are really liking another Wolverine flick, but others are waiting with bated breath to see whether Disney's take on Deadpool will kill the franchise. With only one Marvel movie slated this year, Deadpool and Wolverine represents the hard pivot that Disney desperately needs. But will it save the MCU and Disney and return the franchise to its former glory? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive back into the dumpster fire that is Disney's Marvel. 2023 was the year that should have humbled modern Hollywood, but it looks like they still haven't learned their lesson. After a bruising fight against Nelson Peltz, Elon Musk, and other investors, Disney came right out the very next day with news that Julia Garner had been cast as the Silver Surfer. Fuck. Now, before you get all OCD on me, I know that there was a female Silver Surfer in the comics. That's not my point here. For Disney to come out the very next day after a proxy fight that aimed to kill the progressive DEI nonsense that's infiltrated the company is a lot like rubbing a dog's nose in his own shit. The wokesters within Disney won this round and they wanted to rub everyone's collective noses in their shit. So it's very clear that they learned nothing from the disastrous flops of 2023 and it looks like they'll continue to insert their progressive DEI garbage into films and TV for the foreseeable future. And like Nerd Roddick said, good, let them. Let them destroy everything so that eventually someone else can rebuild it better. In order to build back better. Very poor choice of words. <laughs> ah shit, actually scratch that. The Joker's right, perhaps I should rephrase. If Disney continues along this path and they destroy themselves, then other enterprising young upstarts will rise up to take their place. And that's a good thing. Given how much Disney and Marvel have not learned their lesson, what does this mean for the Deadpool and Wolverine movie? So from the trailer alone, I don't think that the movie's biggest problem is DEI or any of that crap. What it looks like to me is that they're doubling down on the same strategy that's sinking Disney+. Plus. Marvel thought that the best way to integrate the Fox properties was to do a gigantic multiverse saga that eventually fuses all universes together. Not only is that the laziest way to go about it, it's also the dumbest. Make no mistake, integrating mutants into a cinematic universe that's never made any mention of them in the first place is no easy feat. Do they just say they've always been there? Well, if that's the case, why did none of them help out in the battle against Thanos in Avengers Endgame? Okay, so that's out. There was a pretty bad attempt during the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show to use Terra Genesis, whereby you spray the population with a magical bullshit mist that turns people into mutants. Fans really scolded Marvel for doing that. So the only other option left for the writers, since let's face it, these writers are shitty at their job, was to just combine every universe together, which is how we've arrived at the Deadpool and Wolverine movie. From the trailer, it seems that this Wolverine isn't exactly the Fox Universe Wolverine, but some other variation. In the trailer, Deadpool clearly states that this Wolverine was a leader of the X-Men and saved his world. That didn't really happen in any of the first trilogy of X-Men flicks. Maybe Wade Wilson was referring to the Days of Future Past, where Wolverine went back in time to prevent the Sentinel program. But to me, this doesn't look like the same Wolverine from the Logan movie. So who really knows? What we do know is that Lady Deathstrike and Azazel showed up in the trailer, so that's clearly a nod to the Wolverine and X-Men First Class. So we know that we're at least working with some of the Fox universe. So can Deadpool and Wolverine fix what's wrong with the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Of course not. It's not that I'm rooting against it. I'm absolutely not. I really want this movie to do well. But one single movie can't save a franchise. You need at least a handful of pretty good movies to do that. I'll admit that the trailer did look like it's a fun movie, 
but we've been burned so many times by Disney that I have to approach it with cautious optimism. I'm a huge fan of Wolverine on screen. Well, besides X-Men Origins, we won't talk about that. Deadpool has also yet to disappoint either. So do I think this will be a good movie? It's looking promising, but let's wait and see. But what do you guys think about all this? Did you like the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer? And more importantly, do you think it'll be a good movie? Please do let me know down below in the comments. And as always, hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.